Hey everybody, some gadget guy here with a quick update on the Qualcomm Talk. Uh, I just posted an article about this on the blog and the update has already rolled out. Now, Qualcomm is continuing to update their Talk smartwatch with features that are actually hardware features that we didn't even know were inside the watch. And this is super, super exciting. Uh, a little while back, they turned on an accelerometer, which is now provided for some pretty decent fitness tracking capabilities. And we're just now finding out that there was a disabled microphone and now utilizing Nuance's uh, speech to text recognition engine, uh, which is the same engine that they use for Siri on the iPhone, you can talk to your watch to send text messages, which is pretty stinking cool. So we're gonna do a quick test of the uh, the Nuance engine on the Qualcomm Talk. And so the Qualcomm is paired with my HTC One M8. I'm gonna use the LG G Flex just as a test phone. So we're gonna type out a quick message here. We're gonna send sup dog to my M8. So my talk is telling me I've got a text message here. So we're gonna just tap on the, we're gonna turn that back on. And we see this little arrow down at the bottom. We're gonna hit that. And there's the text message and it'll start stacking texts like that. So now if I tap on sup dog, I can send a reply with my voice. What's up dog? I recognize that really quickly and it gives you a little timer on the watch so you don't have to like tap and stop. And if you want, you can tap again just to stop the recording. But we're gonna go ahead and send this. It's gonna send it through my phone. And it shows up on the uh, G Flex. What's up, dog? That's really impressive performance. So it's still server side. It needs a data connection on the phone to be able to recognize your speech to to decrypt it and to turn it into text. But that pass through was pretty stinking seamless. Let's do one more just to test it out. Nothing much. What's up with you? Okay, so we got the text there. Let's tap on this. Nothing much. What's up with you? And we can scroll back through to see what the conversation has looked like so far. And I'm going to tap on that message and we're going to send the voice reply again. Ha ha ha. You totally got me, bro. Good job. That was funny. Oh, I didn't get it. Here, let's try and redo that. Let's see if we can get that. Ha, ha, ha. You totally got me, bro. That was funny. <laughs> hot, hot, hot. Close enough. Let's send it. I'm feeling hot, hot, hot. Uh, uh, and it's already sent back off. I mean, it's it's actually pretty decent performance considering it's getting sent to a microphone, which is somewhat waterproofed. The talk is somewhat water resistant, which is then sending audio samples over Bluetooth to my phone, which is then being sent to an offline server to get decrypted, then sent back to my watch, then hit sent through the phone, and it shows up that quickly on the other device too. So folks, if you're rocking the Qualcomm talk, definitely go hit that update. The update should be live in Google Play as we speak. I've been really impressed with the performance. It also comes comes with a few updates to the fitness tracking, uh, more accurate for uh, fidgety movements, so that it's not constantly jacking up your points whenever you're just subtly moving the watch around. As always, folks, thanks so much for watching my videos, sharing my videos, subscribing to my channel, uh, dropping me comments down below, and hitting that thumbs up button, and I will catch you all on the next video.